Hello and welcome. This is Nandini Hirani, and you are watching its tomorrow news. Severe floods hit southeastern France and northern Italy. Death toll from Kenya's landslides rises to 60. Parts of southeastern France and northwest Italy are on high alert following the issue of top level warnings for storms and life threatening flooding across the region. Two people have been missing in France since the territorial downpours, while at least two others were injured and hundreds of homes flooded. Some parts of the country received more than 200 mm of rain during the weekend. Several cities in Var, southeast France had to be evacuated due to the risk of flooding. Le Luc, which is located in the Var department in the province Alps Côte d'Azur region, recorded 105 mm of rain in 24 hours up to 6 GMT on Sunday. That followed 125 mm of rain in previous 24 hours. Nearby nice and 73 mm rain on Saturday, the average for the entire month of November is 94 mm. A little further to the southwest in Bayat, local authorities asked the residents to remain indoors. On Saturday evening, more than 4,000 households are without electricity in the Alps Maritimes in War, according to the French power company Enedis. Meanwhile, weather monitoring agency Meteo France has now downgraded the warnings from red to orange. The rain continues but is less intense. The department of Pai de Dome has also been on orange alert for floods as well as the regions of Gard and Bauch de Rhone, according to Meteo France. Across the border in Italy, Genoa and the other parts of Ligura region have also been hit by the heavy rainfall. They are set to remain on red alert throughout Sunday. Turin had 107 mm of rain in 24 hours up to 6 GMT on Sunday. The November is average 69 mm. Genoa has worse hit with 117 mm rainfall during the same period when in excess of entire November norm of 109 mm. In Genoa, Cogletto, about 400 people remain temporarily cut off due to landslide on the road. The heavy rain caused the Figio and Ruscaro rivers to overflow. Rail transport has been suspended between Alessandria and Savona due to damage caused by the bad weather. Some regional trains have been cancelled and the primary train operator Trentalia was forced to equate a replacement service. The rains were slowly easing and were expected to move steadily south and east during the next 24 hours. The worst of the weather will then clear away through Greece and the southern Balkans, making way for the next spell of wet and windy weather around the middle of the week. A motorway bridge have also collapsed in Italy's northwestern region in Liguria near the coastal city of Savona following a massive landslide caused by recent bad weather. It was not immediately clear if there were any casualties. Liguria's president said in a news conference that one car was reportedly involved, but he had no evidence and searches were continuing. Meanwhile, the death toll from landslides in northwestern Kenya triggered by unusually heavy rains rose to at least 60 on Sunday, according to Kenyan authorities. Downpours began on Friday in West Pokot County, which borders Uganda, and worsed overnight, causing flooding and mudslides that swept away four bridges and left villages inaccessible by roads. An official from the West Pokot County government said 53 people died, mostly in mudslides. She said seven people were reported missing. The official requested anonymity because she was not authorized to speak to the media. Officials say another five people were swept away while traveling in a car. Two other people were killed after they were drowned when a river burst its banks. Rescue personnel were deployed including from the army and police to try and prevent further loss of lives. Close to 5,000 families have been displaced by the flash floods and a majority of those who died are believed to be buried in the rubble and mudslide. Researchers have warned warming issues are causing unpredictable weather patterns in East Africa. Heavy rains and floods have forced hundreds of thousands of people from their homes in the region since October, aid group said earlier this month. Kenya is experiencing a heavier than usual rainy season, the Kenya Meteorological Department said in early November. The Meteorological Department has been warning that we should expect rains of 444 mm in the next three weeks, which will cause a lot of flooding across the parts of Kenya, especially the low-lying areas. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Nandini Hirani. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe to our channel.